Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a video regarding something kind of creepy regarding our Blu-ray player. Now, this just recently started happening to my mama when we were watching a movie a few days ago on Voodoo. We were watching Point Break together with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. And we watched that movie and she had to get up and go to the restroom and as she raised up, it paused. And that was something that was unusual. Now, I do know these things have sensors in them. They used to have BD Live. That was a feature amongst Blu-ray players. It was a feature where people could interact with each other, and they obviously had a camera that was activated in the devices. The TVs have it. The devices have it. Your electronics, everything has a camera that's activated. Now they want everyone to put a, put a camera on their television and their fridge, the microwave, and put it in front of, put it on the stove and everywhere in your home. Now think about that for a level of creepy. They want everyone to interact with each other and have a camera everywhere for convenience, and you're giving up that. It's Big Brother, just like Mama stated. It's, it's, it's Big Brother. There's no way around, around that. But the thing is, they have, in the name of innovation, in the name of technology, in the name of advancement, they have, in convenience, we've basically given up this personal right. But here's the thing, I don't know whether it is a connection somehow, or whether something, whether it's something strange, or actually something built into the device that just started activating, but it hasn't happened every time now. But for some reason it happened for Mama that day, and it happened for me a few times. Maybe it's some sort of connection, she just happened to be heightened awareness at that time, have, have, have heightened awareness that day, I don't know. It happened when we were watching, starting to watch Thor, it happened when we were watching, uh, to point break and then it happened after we were watching some other shows and movies so what happened was she got up and it paused and another time she was going to select voodoo she was going to select the service voodoo on the blu-ray player with the remote and she had not even gotten to gotten the remote ready yet and as she picked the remote up as she was about to select it it selected okay for her and selected voodoo and opened it up and then it was going to select the movie whenever she was going to go to it and was like play. It played for her. And it seems like these devices, they did that to me a while back. When we first got them, they seemed to get that way. Now I know they have built-in sensors. They have uh, all of these different sensors and cameras built into them for convenience, they claim. But the BD Live feature is not even available anymore. But I'm sure they can remotely access it and connect to the IP address and be able to link it and find and see you live and find and see you live anytime all of these devices have it and your IP address can be tracked and your IP address hacked and and they can have remote camera access just like one time when we were having the phone company or actually that's the phone provide the uh, landline phone provider but the landline phone doesn't even work anymore so we just lowered it to just 911 service only but they're also the internet provider, which supposedly provides three hundred megabits per second, but it doesn't really always do that. And we uh, we called them one time for an internet issue, and they were able to remotely. They said, "Do you mind if I control your computer?" They connected directly through the network to the IP address. They said, "Do you mind if we control the device and see what's going on?" They said, uh, "If you have anything personal or anything, you, do you mind if we control?" And I was like, "I said no. I guess go ahead. We give you consent." And she started controlling the computer from her office connecting directly to the IP address of the computer and the woman was able to control from corporate control from the office and control the computer at home through the network through, through the network and she checked the speed that time we were when we were going through really low internet speed and she checked the speed and she checked the device and was checking it and everything and said well it shows up on our end that you're getting more than you should but that time it was just 12 megabits per second which was awful and then they had to up it to 30 as a minimum and then now 300 that we pay for that um, so but they the, the, the point is that they were able to remotely access it after we told them okay but hackers can do this and there are hackers around I've dealt with them and I've had to I've, I've dealt with them before we know our devices and everything else they interfere they mess with the antenna signal they mess with everything it interferes with phone phone calls talk we were talking to daddy a few days ago and he said he heard a loud burp on his side he heard a loud beeping and a crackling and it hurt his ears and his headset that he had on because you have to use the bluetooth headset he uses the blue ter blue he uses the blue parrot headset so he has to use it on the road being a truck driver he has to use that 
and he wound up uh, hearing the sound and the phone shut off and he couldn't call back. Well then, after he called back, he uh, it happened to us. We just mentioned one little thing, that we didn't agree with something politically. And when I was mentioning that, uh, and all I did was mention something political. And all of a sudden, on Mama's end, on, the, on her phone, you could hear, like, it went, boop, on her end, a beep. All because I stated a political opinion. If you state any type of opinion on things, and it's just not, it's not right. And people have to be almost walking on eggshells anymore to state things. You have to be, it's, it's, if you've looked at Edward Snowden's video, when he, this, uh, all these interviews that Edward Snowden's been giving recently, Edward Snowden has been coming uh, back on the scene lately with uh, information regarding what's going on. And there's a lot of interesting news taking place right now. There's a lot of interesting news happening. But you should check it out. Definitely check it out. The merging of AI, artificial intelligence, and everything merging with human beings. And the, uh, they claim to try, try to claim it's sentient. They try to claim they're going to try to merge us with it, which is also the beast system and everything that's happening now. I've got to talk really quickly because they, my device, it, the, the internal storage is almost out. It's very minimal. It's low. So if I don't conclude this really quickly, it might shut off and I don't get the video completed. But all of this stuff, pretty much we just consent to it and move on. And it's like, well, we have to, out of the name of convenience and advancement, we have to pretty much agree to this invasion of privacy. And people do it on a regular basis, every day. No one really even ever reads the terms of services in terms of agreement. Like that one episode, they could be, you know, taking your everything and you agree to it. Who knows? Um, but on SNL a long time ago, back when SNL used to be not as political, they were, it didn't used to be as political. Of course, they've always been political, but never hate. Never full of hate. It wasn't like full of hate for the president. But they had, uh, back when he stated... Uh, the devil was pretending like, I think Jason Sudeikis was on there pretending to be the devil, and he stated, he said, oh, those terms of agreements, you ever read those terms of service? He said, no. Well, I'll see you, I'll see you, in, I'll see you down there. And he was like, what? And he said, yeah. He said, uh, you're giving your uh, soul over <laughs> when you uh, sign those terms of service and agreements. And I thought, I never, I thought about it and thought, man, who knows? I mean, <laughs> everyone just has to agree to the terms and services and terms of service agreements without even thinking about it. You just have to say, okay, I comply. But anyway, interestingly enough, this Blu-ray player started playing and turning... It's, it's the BDPS 590. We've had it for many years. The wireless BDPS 590. Um, we've had that Blu-ray player for many, many years, and uh, it, uh, it, it would just suddenly now like do like it used to and play or pause based on your movement. If you're back in the room, it starts playing. You start to get up and leave, and it pauses. And that's kind of annoying, really, you know, if you, it's in certain aspects convenient in others and annoying in other ways but the thing is is it really interacting with you is it doing something that is not even supposed to be possible anyway but is it did it have a firmware update without me knowing it that's the thing and did it remotely access uh, I mean is someone remotely accessing that of course someone remotely access it they can they can do that we're interconnecting ourselves and connecting ourselves to a network of networks through the internet and we are you know, giving up those freedoms, personal freedoms in the name of security and technological advancement and convenience. But we already know that. You already know that. But the freaky part is why it was pausing when we got up or and playing when we sat back down or whatever Mama was about to do or whatever, I, whatever I'm about to do with the remote, it starts to do it and it does it by itself. So that's just an interesting thought. I just wanted to share it and... Uh, Thank you for listening. Peace, much love. My links are below. Don't forget if you uh, if you can if you can help out, even a dollar helps. The links below to my PayPal and my email also if you'd like to contact and uh, if you'd like to feel more comfortable talking by email. I completely understand because there's so many hateful individuals and trolls out there that it's just ridiculous. But I ignore them. Water under the bridge. Sweep it under the rug. Let it run down the back, the shoulders, whatever. Just I just ignore it and move on because you all make it all worthwhile. Peace and love. I love you all. And um, we know the Lord is, is going to take care. So peace and much love. I love you all. Signing out. Thank you for watching.